these are just awful times for free speech. And what's so sad is that it doesn't even seem to be valued as a, as a theoretical concept by large numbers of people. Well, how quickly the European Union forgets what happened with Wikipedia. Uh, I think it was just before the COVID era began, they attempted to force uh, Wikipedia and other social media companies to abide by these new EU regulations that were just appallingly restrictive. And there was an enormous campaign against the EU for what they were doing. And they started bullying people like Wikipedia, just as they've been bullying Musk. And so Wikipedia sent the entire European continent black, just <laughs> didn't give them any access to the Wikipedia page. And the backlash was so extreme from the public that it very nearly turned European elections for the EU representatives. And so they brought forward the EU uh, referendum for, oh, sorry, the uh, elections for those people because they were so worried that they're all going to lose their seats for this campaign. But in the end, they had to drop it, of course, because they didn't have more power than Wikipedia and people's love of having access to the internet. And I guarantee you, if Musk told them to just bugger off, mm -hmm. then they would have to relinquish this desire to control what is said on Twitter because the fury and backlash from the public to lose access from Twitter would be enormous. Now, I'm not saying that people were going to stand up for free speech, but what they don't like is losing access to their social media platforms because people have entire businesses set up their friendship groups yeah. there. So having losing that is enough of a stick that Musk has where he knows that he has more power than the European Union on this particular question.